Welcome back Pinballers, it's Nick here as we meander our way through everything in the Zen Pinball 2 collection. This time on the PlayStation 4 takes the turn of Ghost Rider, published by Zen Studios in 2014. Comes along with the Vengeance and Virtual Pack, one of four tables in there. You also get Moon Knight 4, which we've already reviewed, and X-Men, which will come to soon. Based around the super anti-hero Ghost Rider, who first appeared in Marvel Spotlight Comics issue 5. Not sure what year that was. So let's have a look at the table. There he is there. Good. Now the Ghost Rider, he's got immense superhuman strength, like all of them, and stamina, invulnerability to fire, and got regeneration properties, and immortality, which isn't a bad skill to have. His alter egos are Carter Slade and Johnny Blade, just to mention a couple of them. He's quite cool, rebel without a cause, rides around on a motorcycle. Lots of different modes in this, lots of different enemies that Ghost Rider has um, come up across, but a bit of a Hell's Angels in theme with lots of fire all over the place. A similar sort of colour palette to Doom from the Bethesda pack if you want to take a look at that. It's one of the more cooler tables in this four pack series. We'll certainly have a look at all of them, we'll have a good old go at this. Might be a short go, might be a long go, depending on how well I do at the table. I haven't played too many goes of this. Uh, the graphic there said Blaze, which I'm sure that must be in this incarnation. His alter ego is Johnny Blaze. Hurrah! So let's hang around with the cool kids, the cool bikers, and see what we can do here. But targets, ramps, I'll try and explain it as we go through. There's uh, the main villain there. Vengeance rides again. Yes. Lucifer's sinkhole, that sounds something to be avoided. Different views, there's a skill shot at the beginning and you get the ball through that hole in that coil thing, which we'll try and do. It looks like we're playing in hell, the surround um, graphics there. Bit of barbed wire around the, um, the table there, you might be able to just see in the top left and right. Very cool font there, fire. We're in hell basically, which is uh, not a nice place to hang out. Two flippers at the bottom as per usual, there's a flipper at the upper left, we can get to that upper playfield there, we knock the ball around to the rider to get actual um, skill points and jackpots at the right point. Oh, we've got a gun here. Ooh, thank you, I'm not sure what was going on there. There's a central ramp to get it up to the upper playfield, a uh, uh, spinning disc on the top right. We'll just try and get a few combos together, but just concentrate on hitting the ramps. If you're not quite sure what to do on a Zen Pimble 2 table, we go into a mode I've selected there. Not quite sure, just keep hitting the ramps and eventually something's going to turn up. The video mode will give you clues to what to do and occasionally lights will light up on the table, hit those and you're looking good. But you see there's a flashing light there and that's the mode we're on at the moment. Ghost Rider. Not made into a film so far from Marvel, but it's only a matter of time, I think. Do you have this table? Do you have the Vengeance and Virtual Pack? If so, what do you think about it? As per usual, I always say, if you want to compare your scores to my mediocre ones, then on the PlayStation Network, I'm Jenkins 7 Nick. Not on there every day, but on there a lot, so if I see a friend request, normally I will accept it regardless. Spray! You can send me a message, you don't have to send me a message, but you know. <laughs> Boomer! Lots of good sound and speech on this table, I quite like it. The motorbike's now doing a wheelie and both tyres are on fire, so they must have pretty good tyres. I'm not sure that'll pass its MOT, that bike, but um, you know, it might do. Oh, I'm trying to do the flipper to get it round that, that ramp, well, that, that bike. Lock is lit. Now, if we can get multiball on this thing, I'll be quite pleased. I don't know who does the artwork on these playfields, because they're not based on any real life tables, but whoever, whoever does do them, they're a very talented artist, and I think they're great. This, out of all the tables, is the one I know the most least on. I think it's coming across. Right, okay. Boom, super jets. Come on then, concentrate, just keep the ball in play and see how much we can activate here. We want multiple at some point, but this, this ball's lasting quite a long time. Good old Johnny Blaze. I've never seen any of the comics 
featuring Ghost Rider, I just know he's quite cool. A bit of an anti-hero, so I think he could run into uh, Deadpool maybe. Could he? Let's see. He might have already run into Deadpool in the comics. Those people really into the Marvel Universe that you might already know. But I can't see him being in the Avengers, he doesn't look like he'd fit in there. He gets the job done by bucking authority and doing whatever he wants. Hence, hence the, uh, the super motorbike there. Motorbike in, yeah. Whoops, the, the devil's looking round, he don't know what's going on. Boom. Quite often it's difficult to comment and play at the same time. I, I don't mind the pinball table too difficult to do that actually, compared to Drive Club and the like. If you're really into pinball, and this is the first, uh, all right, let's select a mode here. Do that. If you, as I was saying, if you're really into pinball, and this is the first uh, a video of mine you've seen as in Pinball 2, and you're thinking about maybe buying it, but don't know what tables what to get, I do have a playlist called uh, Pinball. Uh, funnily enough, you're going to click on the, uh, the main channel screen and go to Playlist and Pinball. I have quite a lot of videos there Pinball Arcade and Zen Pinball 2. And a few Amiga ones and the odd Spectrum one as well. Enjoy! It's not everyone's cup of tea, but for me, Pinball is where gaming sort of like got started initially, before it all went digital computerised, it's good to see. But uh, as I said, this table never ever ever existed, it's just homage to Pinball, fantasy, and they've really gone to town with it, as they have all their tables. So well done, Zen Studio! At time of recording this one, I'm pretty excited, because it was recently announced that Zen Pinball 2 are going to release some movie-based tables based on Universal Studios, and they include E.T., Jaws, and wait for it, Back to the Future Trilogy. A Back to the Future Trilogy with sounds in the film will be great. Hopefully they are lifted from there and not impersonated. But if they are directly lifted, then it's going to be lots to love about that. Can't wait. Really can't. But let's concentrate on Ghost Rider for the time being. For last. Quite a well-designed table. Lots of flames all over the shop. Right, let's try and get a skill shot here. We've got to get down that central hole. Let's do that. In, no, missed. We'll try and do it at least once before this review gameplay thing's over. We'll say, uh, I hope. Get in. No. Need to do it just at the right um, uh, level. Now, as you can see on the scoreboard there, if you are, got multi-ball, great. If you are a friend of mine on this, then your score might show up for as a target for me to beat. Well, I've got a few jackpots there. Now, when uh, you've got multi-balls, million pounds jackpots is going to eat into that gap. So hopefully I can get quite near um, my friend there on the PlayStation Network to his score. But it's, it's one of the first times I've played this thing. Once you get used to it, you can play them forever. So I deliberately don't play the table for hours and hours before the review, because otherwise the review will well, it'll go on for about three quarters of an hour now, and I just want just want me to be a little bit naive on it, but know what to do, so it comes in around about 10, 10 to 20 minutes. Nothing more than that, really. But with a lot of pinball tables, if you're in the groove, you're in the groove, and nothing can go wrong. Slightly trickier with the pinball arcade tables, of course, which are reflections of real-life ones. Shoot! Not sure what we're supposed to be aiming at there. But yeah, Zen Pinball 2 tends to be a little bit easier than the Pinball Arcade ones, but I like both of them for different reasons. Great guitar music in the background there. Right, let's try and activate... Yes! Done it for once. Let's activate a few other modes here. What is he saying? I can't quite hear him. He needs to learn to speak up. Ghost Rider. How do you kill someone who's immortal? I'm not quite sure. Wolverine's immortal, wasn't he, as well? I'm not sure what you do, really. Like Jason Voorhees. How do you kill someone that's immortal? I don't know what the story is, how Ghost Rider uh, Rider was formed. He probably died and got saved by a god like Moon Knight or someone. This tend to happen. Or oh, bitten by a radioactive um, flea. Yes, good. There's a devil like that in the Blaze table, which I reviewed a while back. If you want to check that one out? That's again, that's Marvel Blade, played by Wesley Snipes in the films. There's a Blade One and a Blade Two. Skill shot. Let's get it. Let's go there. In? No, he's missed it again. I think you might get a million points if you do that. We're 12 million uh, behind the top score of my friends on the table. 
as on the PlayStation 4 network. I bought this table originally on the PlayStation 3 network, because you get it free on the PlayStation 4 and you buy on the PlayStation 3 first, and not vice versa. But annoyingly, your top scores on PS3 don't register on PS4, so you think you might be doing great on your friends, and then load it on the PS4, and suddenly you're right at the start again. Oh. Come on, let's, let's get the jackpot mode activated, so at least maybe try and pull into the lead. If you could be any Marvel superhero, what would you be? I don't think I'd pick, pick uh, Ghost Rider, and I probably wouldn't pick Incredible Hulk either. None of them seem to be very happy. Alright, different mode, this Orb Man. We're battling the Orb. I wouldn't pick the Hulk, he's angry all the time. I'd probably pick Iron Man, he's quite cool, isn't he? And he's got lots of money, which is, which is helpful. I haven't got the ego of Iron Man, though. Let's just try and kill the Orb person, because he's up to no good. I don't know what he's done but he's got a head like an orb, and he must die. Can we get him here? No, didn't we go quick enough. What do we have to hit here? There's a target in front of the devil man. That central ramp is locked for a couple of goes. I'm trying to, I'm trying to hurry up, but I don't know what to, how to hit him. I think the orb might win this, you know. Yeah, he's gone back into the floor. We're slowly going, we're 11.3 million behind the top score. Keep going, Nick, keep going. Fortune favours the brave. No, or the stupid. Please. Right, aim. Let the show begin. Right. Always good to go for the central ramp, that can activate a lot of stuff. Also, if you're new to pinball, you don't have to keep hitting the ball straight away. You can try and catch the ball in the flipper, take a breather, take time to try and aim at stuff. It's when one ball off. It's times when you keep missing ramps you're going for. Yay! I knew I'd do that. It's times when you um, keep missing what you're aiming for. What's this? Video mode. Then you start losing it. Right, okay, so I'm on a bike, so I guess I've got to avoid traffic. Here it <laughs> nah, well done, Nick. I went straight into a truck. Good job I'm immortal, eh? That must have looked pretty bad on the CCTV cameras. Da -da 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 -da. Right, good. That surprised me there. A lot of these tables have got video mode. I wasn't expecting it to come up like that. Keep playing and you will unlock certain stuff. A lot of the tables have mini games as well, which take you away from this and it goes somewhere else. So good. So keep, keep playing. Keep, keep playing. But I find hard because I get bored very quickly. I find it good. I find it hard to keep playing the same table for ages. I keep going all over the place. Right, two balls are in place and jackpots are activated. We can keep getting the millions and try and close in on the top score. This is when things can really start jumping forward in terms of your points tally. There's another million. Otherwise, normally you're just picking up 10,000, 20,000 here and there. Look for the ramps. Look for the ramps. Yes, that must be something. Yep, yeah, a million. 6.9 million to go. Try and hit that again. Damn. Oh, come on. Hey, that must be one yet. Another million. Is that a million? No. No, it's not doing it. Perhaps I need to hit other bits now. And I've lost the ball, so that's the end of multi ball. 5.3 million left. My turn. No, it isn't. It's my turn. What? You can have a go afterwards. What's he going on about? Da, 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 da. I've been losing track of how many balls I've got, which is not never a good thing for a bloke. How many how many have I got left? Is this the last ball? Yes, let the show begin. Showtime! Boom! I mean, I'm dying for a Batman table, but that's DC. Why can't Zen Studios doing lots of good deals now? That um, Universal one, which I mentioned, so maybe they can do a deal with DC Comics. That'd be great. That'll open up Batman, Suicide Squad, Wonder Woman, Aquaman. There'll be some really awesome tables there. I mean, great. So imagine, imagine any Batman table with the sounds of any of the Batman films: Michael Keaton, Val Kilmer, any of the modern ones. Uh, that'd be great. I'm not so fussed with Superman versus Batman or the other way around. But there we go. Oh, is that my last ball? Thank you very much. I try my best. Fantastic. Thank you. I am available for voiceover work. Great, great stuff. Well, yeah, that table was pretty good, although I wasn't 100% sure what I was doing. 
as per usual. Hope you liked having a look at that one. That was Zen Pinball 2, The Vengeance in Virtual Pack and Ghost Rider, published by Zen Studios in 2014. Also includes the tables Moon Knight 4 and X-Men. If you've got any comments about these tables, uh, pinball in general, or anything at all, then you're more than welcome to put that below if you want. I'm not going to force you or anything, but if you could subscribe, that would help me out quite a lot if you haven't already. Until next time, take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.